people don't call on my birthday anymore. I guess I don't call people on their birthdays. Why should they call me? It's a weird aging, right? Youth is wasted on the young. I'd go further. I'd go, life is wasted on people. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Review, episode number 309. Uh, the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is one that I'm very excited for, and it's called Greenberg. Uh, Greenberg is written and directed by Noah Baumbach, who uh, some of you might know from The Squid and the Whale, which I think is just an amazing little movie, um, and it was his first film ever. He also did Margo at the Wedding. I didn't like it uh, nearly as much as The Squid and the Whale. I think it's okay, but uh, I plan on rewatching that sometime soon. He also co-wrote a few films with Wes Anderson, uh, namely the most recently one, Fantastic Mr. Fox, he co-wrote with him. But Greenberg stars Ben Stiller, Greta Gerwig, and there's a few supporting uh, players from Jennifer Jason Leigh, who also uh, helped with the story of Greenberg, and also the one, the only, Mark Duplass, who I know I've uh, said his name enough times on this channel if you've been watching enough, but seriously, if you haven't seen The Puffy Chair, what are you waiting for? Watch that film, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and Greenberg is the story about this guy named Roger Greenberg who uh, kind of heads out to LA to watch this house uh, for his brother while his brother goes out of town with his family to Vietnam. And uh, Roger Greenberg is kind of uh, kind of a terrible guy. He doesn't like a lot of things. He writes constant letters to constant corporations talking about the things that he hates with that company. Uh, Greta Gerwig is kind of his uh, Roger Greenberg's brother's uh, kind of housemaid. She kind of goes and does all the groceries and stuff. And so once Roger's in town, uh, Greta Gerwig's character meets him, and they they kind of start to spark some sort of a relationship between the two of them, no matter how awkward it kind of uh, starts out. And what ensues is a nice little character piece uh, around this man Greenberg and and the people around him and and what occurs. Um, I think Greenberg is not going to be a film for everyone. I think that it's the type of film that is, is un unapologetic in the way that it's told. And, and by the end of this movie, you're not really, uh, you know, you don't really like Ben Stiller's character. You're never on board with the things he does. He does terrible things. There's a lot of scenes where he just, he, he berates Greta Gerwig's character in front of them for saying some of the things. He, he's unhappy with his life and he's unhappy with the way people are around him, which sometimes makes for some fantastic comedic moments and other times it makes for some downright dramatic and serious stuff. Uh, one, of, one of my favorites revolving around how he comments on the way people laugh and applaud at the same time because laughter already shows appreciation and the, uh, the applause just seems unnecessary which I thought was great uh, and all that sort of thing but I think one of, two of the things that I absolutely love about Greenberg is the script for Greenberg and the way that it's, it's shot. The first shot in Greenberg is kind of this over uh, this backdrop of LA and it's it's LA like I've never seen it in in movies I live in the Los Angeles area or the surrounding Los Angeles area and uh, there's a lot of smog here as I'm sure a lot of people have heard and they show the smog in Greenberg which I think is just awesome to me uh, but I think the script is the biggest strength about this film I think that uh, if you're the type of person that sees movies and you just take everything at face value and, and don't dig for a deeper meaning or that sort of thing. I could see you being very disappointed with what Greenberg has to offer because by the, by the end of this movie I could see somebody saying, well that was stupid, why did I even watch this? But I think if you dig deep with what's going on, I mean, the film starts off with the line, are you gonna let me in, which is just Greta Gerwig's character driving, just trying to get over, and it ends with the line, this is you. And I think both of those lines on paper and when you're watching them on the film could mean nothing. They could just be throwaway little five word three word sentences that, that mean nothing, but uh, in, in the context of the film and with everything that goes around, I really think it means a lot more than that. Um, I also love all the small uh, nuances that Noah Baumbach has, uh, if you notice my intro. Uh, he, Greenberg uses chapstick a lot, and I never see characters use chapstick in movies, which I think is weird because so many people use chapstick, I'm one of them, I'm addicted to it, uh, and, and he uses it a lot, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and the performances also, across the board, are fantastic. But this is Ben Stiller like you've never seen him before. He's, he's playing a serious role. He's not the wild, zany, meet the parents, or Zoolander Ben Stiller. He's a much more toned down Ben Stiller. And, and uh, Greta Gerwig, who I always think is fantastic, she is just, she is Florence Marr. Uh, she's, she's not Greta Gerwig, she's this character. And, and everything that comes out of her mouth and their mouths and their relationship feels so real. 
and and grounded in reality that it's it's almost like these aren't even actors they are people that you're watching unfold on screen um, and and I think that Greenberg is it's a it's a fantastic film but I think that some people aren't going to get it and some people may not like it so I'm sorry if you're watching this review you go to see it and you're like what is Aaron talking about this movie's terrible I think it's fantastic though I think it's uh, possibly the best movie I've seen uh, so far in 2010 uh, it also includes one of my favorite lines in a movie in a really long time, which is, hurt people, hurt people. Dwell on that for a while. I give Greenberg a uh, very enthusiastic 5 out of 5. Um, I love this movie so, so much. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.